केस नंबर वन नो इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एक्सटर्नल इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इज जीरो दैट इज इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इज जीरो मीन्स वॉट क्वेश्चन इज इफ ए वायर सिंपल वायर एंड देर इज नो बैटरी कनेक्टेड अक्रॉस द टू करंट फ्लोइंग इज जीरो वट अबाउट इलेक्ट्रॉन मूवमेंट इट इज देयर इलेक्ट्रॉन मूवमेंट इज देयर इफ इलेक्ट्रॉन मूवमेंट इज देयर देन देर शुड बी सम करंट देर इज नो करंट वट इज द रीजन नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स मूविंग टू द राइट इज इक्वल टू नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स मूविंग टू द लेफ्ट दैट इज नेट नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स क्रॉसिंग अ गिवन क्रॉस सेक्शन इज जीरो इफेक्टिव चार्ज इफेक्टिव चार्ज so there is a wire if there is no electric field then suppose two electrons move to the right and two electrons move to the left across any cross section that is if you take into account this area then through this area two electrons are moving to the right and two electrons are moving to the left so first part is what electrons move randomly that means charge moving towards right is equal to charge moving towards left net charge flowing is what yes net charge flowing is zero that is why net current comes out to be zero current or average velocity you want to write the first part i net is zero probably the first part is average velocity yes i net i have explained what is the average velocity if there are number of particles u1 u2 if there are n particles un divided by n suppose this particle particle number 1 is having velocity towards right 10i second particle is also 10i i cap means what towards the right Three, u three. This is moving towards left. Minus ten i. Fourth, minus ten i. U average for this. U one is what? Ten i. Second particle. Yes, is also ten i. Third, minus ten i. Fourth. Minus ten i divided by four comes out to what? Zero. What is the average velocity of the group? Zero. What is the average current? Zero. Time with you is two minutes to write. case number 2 is what <coughs> when a wire is subjected to electric field what was the initial case normal wire there is no battery connected across this if a battery is connected across the wire then what this is the case two electrons move to the right with the same velocity two towards left then 
if you have a wire if there is no electric field across the same then electrons move to the right electron move to the left this is to the right this is towards left if you apply a battery across the two then what yes this point is at a higher potential and the negative terminal of the battery means at a lower potential this a positive will attract these electrons moving towards right towards the left means breaking force x on these electrons and speed of these electrons will be reduced what about these electrons they also experience force towards the right they are already moving towards left their speed will increase if you throw a particle upward when it is moving upward its speed decreases why gravitational force is opposite to its velocity when the particle is moving downwards velocity is downward force is also downward then its velocity increases similarly here also what you observe is the new pattern if i want to mark this value this speed decreases this arrow size is less and this velocity will increase why because left side is at a higher potential now we want to write expression for average velocity average velocity is equal to what velocity of particle number 1 velocity of particle number 2 suppose there are n particles then as per definition sum of all divided by n formula for v yes v is equal to u plus at so particle number 1 u1 plus a1t particle number 2 u2 plus a2t and for nth particle it is un plus it is a is the same for all why yes because all charges are same electric charge e u electric field e is also same f is equal to q into e and acceleration is equal to force divided by mass is what q e by m q for all electrons is same mass for all electrons is same e is also same that is why it is not a1 it is a second is also a time can be different different particles can be subjected for different uh, times one particle is subjected for acceleration for 1 second second particle may be 3 second third particle may be 10 seconds divided by yes n first part u1 plus u2 up to un u1 plus u2 up to un divided by n plus a is the same t1 plus t2 up to tn by n this part yes this is case number 2 case number 1 you have proved this to be average value when there is no electric field applied this value was equal to 0 plus a this is average time written as tau average time is written as tau is equal to so v average is equal to a into tau what is a equal to a is q e q e by m into tau is equal to what if q is equal to yes for a copper wire what is at rest positive charge nucleus is at a rest what is in motion 
electrons. Negative charge for a wire is in motion. That is why if Q is equal to minus E, then it is minus E tau by M times E. So, velocity is equal to minus E tau by M times E. This parameter E is the same for all electrons in all metals. Mass of the electron same, but tau is different for different uh, metals depending on structure, how the atoms are placed in a metal wire. So, this parameter E tau by m is termed as mobility. So, V average is equal to what? V average or velocity is equal to minus nu times E. What is nu equal to? Yes. Nu is V d is equal to nu nu is mobility and is equal to what? E tau by m is different for different metal. 